Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 4, equivalent fractions. Page number is 505. Okay, before starting today's uh, you have to understand what are fractions. Okay, what are fractions, guys? Uh, normally, like, like for example, if I say number 1, 2, 3, 4, or any number like this, that is a whole number. Whole means complete, a complete number. Like this 1. It is a complete number. Okay? But if I divide this 1 into some parts, for example, I'm dividing into 5 parts, it could be anything. Okay? 4 parts, I'm dividing into 4 parts, it could be anything and I shade one out of it it means I just have one part out of four parts of one whole number so I cannot say that this one is complete now it is divided into parts and I don't have all the parts so for that we write fractions and what is the fraction for this how we write in fractions we have two things you studied in grade 3 we have a denominator, a number down here, and a numerator, the number up here. How we write the denominator? The total number of parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 as a denominator. And how many parts are shaded? Just 1. So 1 in the numerator. This is how we create fractions from the drawings. So what are fractions? Fractions are part of a whole number. If it was one complete, I divided into parts, four parts, and out of four parts, one is shaded, or you can say I have just one, so one in the numerator. Okay, to make equivalent fraction, boys, like for example, if I want to make an equivalent fraction for this one over four, I can do two things. Either I can multiply or I can divide by any number but I must multiply the same number up and same number down so for example if I multiply 2 up and 2 down 1 times 2 2 4 times 2 8 so this is equivalent fraction for 1 over 4. Similarly, for example, if I have another fraction like this, uh, let's say 4 over 8. Here I multiplied. I multiplied by two guys, but you can multiply by any number, okay? We choose small numbers to make it easier, okay? This is an equivalent fraction for this. For example, I want to do by divide. You can multiply, you can divide also here, but it's it become hard to divide, so that's why I didn't divide it here. But here it's easy to divide. So it depends according to the fraction that you will multiply or you will divide. Okay? You can multiply, you can divide to make the equivalent fraction. And it's up to you. And you can multiply by any number, you can divide by any number. Okay, I want to do this example with division. So I will divide by 2 up and divide by 2 down. So 4 divide 2, 2 and 8 divide 2, 4. So this is an equivalent fraction for this 4 over 8. Got it? See these examples? Here they created equivalent fraction of 3 over 4. They created two equivalent fractions for 3 over 4. First one, second one. Both are equivalent fraction for 3 over 4. They created first one by multiplying by 2. Times 2 times 2. 3 times 2, 4 times 2. The second one by 3. You can try by 4, by 5, by 6, any number. And you will get the equivalent fraction. What you have to, what is the most important thing to do? That you multiply the same number up and down. See this guys? I multiplied the same number up and down. I cannot divide, multiply by 2 here and by 3 here, no. If I multiply by 2 up, so down must be 2. Similarly, I have to divide by same number, up and down. Okay, so here, 
Okay, can you see guys, there is a 1, 2 over 2 is written in a big 1. Why? Because if the numerator and denominator are same, that is equal to 1. Why? For example, I have 150 and I divided it into two parts. The denominator shows me the total number of parts and the numerator shows me the shaded parts. So two parts are shaded. It means the whole pizza is shaded. So it is one complete. Got it? So that's why if the numerator and the denominators are same, that is equal to 1. 2 over 2 equal to 1. 3 over 3 equals to 1. 4 over 4, any number. If same numbers up and down, that is equal to 1. Okay, here uh, they're saying that from these fractions, which one is equivalent to 3 over 10? So what you multiply here to get any one of them? Can you multiply anything by 3 to get 20? No, by 10, no, 40, no, 30, yes. If you multiply by 10 here, we'll get 30. So actually they created its equivalent fraction multiplying by 10. 3 over 10, 3 times 10, 10 times 10, 3 times 10 is 30, 10 times 10, 100. Here boys, so the equivalent fraction for 3 over 10 is 30 over 100. So lima is similar to 3 over 10. Okay, here total we have 4 parts, 2 are shaded. Okay, how they created the equivalent fraction, 2 over 4, how they created this one. You can do anything, you can create any equivalent fraction, okay, they said to create equivalent fraction. What they did, I will tell you now, they divided by 2 here, divided by 2 here, equals 1 over 2. Similarly here, 3, total parts are 3, denominator is 3, one part is shaded, so 1, and they created the equivalent fraction. How they created the equivalent fraction? They multiply by 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Let's go to the next page. Here, total are 6 parts, 5 are shaded. They multiply by 2, 5 times 2, 10, 6 times 2, 12. Total parts are 5, 3 are shaded. They multiply by 2, 3 times 2, 6, 5 times 2, 10. Similarly here guys, try to solve these examples by yourself and then match your answers from this video. Here. From these questions, you have to match circle the equivalent fractions. Like 1 over 4, is it equivalent to 2 over 6? Like if you multiply any number here, 2, 1 times 2 is 2, okay. But if you multiply 4 times 2, it is 8. So it's wrong. It's 6. What if you multiply 3 here? 1 times 3 is 3, yes. And 4 times 3, 12. So, this one is the equivalent fraction of this. They multiply this fraction by 3 to get this one. And this one is not equivalent. Similarly here, 2 and this is same 2. So, and here 100. 10 times 10 is 100, but they didn't multiply anything here. So this is wrong. They have to mul multiply 10 up also. 2 times 10, 20. 10 times 10, 100. Got it? Similarly boys, do the remaining examples by yourself and try to match your answers from this video. They already give you one that you will check from the denominator what they multiplied to get 8. So the same thing you will multiply up 1 times 2, 8. Next page.